Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, and this is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Blast from the Past. Blast from the Past. I couldn't remember if it was Blast from the Past or Blast to the Past. Blast from the Past. What do you know about this movie? Never heard about this movie until recently. Yeah. Um, we just watched Carrie and JFK, which both had Sissy. Spa, spa. <laughs> space it. Space it. A sissy space it. That's what Google's telling us. So if it's wrong, we tried. <laughs> so we figured this is something that you've wanted to watch. Yeah, because we watched Carrie and she looked familiar. We had no idea that she was in JFK. No. Until we started watching JFK. <laughs> yeah. But when she looked familiar from Carrie, we quickly like went through what other movies she's done. And I saw a blast from the past. And I was like, no way. Like sissy's in this. And we did not notice JFK on that list. <laughs> no, we only noticed Blast from the Past. Yeah. Um, and we've talked about it before and stuff, but I knew that you hadn't seen it. Yeah. And I have. Mm -hmm. So this is only a first time reaction for Sam. Yes. And I was like, okay, it's like destiny. We've had two movies in a row with Sissy. We might as well have three. We are also watching Oppenheimer this week, which I feel like is cool. I'll talk more about that later. But I'm like, wow, it just was meant to be to watch Blast in the Past right now. Yeah, uh, I don't know anything about this movie. And besides Sissy, I don't know anybody that's in this movie. Unless you did tell me and I just forgot. I did tell you. The Mummy. Oh, right, Brendan. Let's look that up as well. It's not Frasier, it's, I wanna say it's Frasier. Hi, I'm Brendan Fraser. You're watching Comedy Central. That's Fraser, not Fraser. If you say Fraser, I know where you live. Okay, Brendan Fraser. Obviously, The Mummy. I have seen that. Bedazzled. Oh, Bedazzled's amazing. Yeah. Um, not G.I. Jane. Tarzan. Oh, Tarzan, of course. Would you get G.I. Jane? Because Jane? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tarzan and Jane. I think that might be it. But those are some iconic roles. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's awesome. I, I'm a huge Brendan Fraser, Fraser fan. <laughs> um, we have not seen Whale, which is his most recent. Yeah, he was actually also, I think, in The Killers of the Flower Moon. Oh, he was in that? But he has like okay. a part, like small part or something like that. We haven't seen that either. Um, Renaissance of, of his career, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah. He had a, a lot of terrible things happen to him. Yeah. So it's awesome to see him back. But this is, you know, back in the past, a yeah. blast from the past to see a movie that I feel like is super underrated, maybe never even heard of, like in your case. Um, but I think it's fantastic. It has a lot of great people in it. I'm so excited to show you this movie um, because I know that when I was growing up, this was one that I like would go to the DVD store and like rent multiple times, I think. Oh, okay. So I like this movie. All right, well, I'm excited to watch it. Um, I believe it's a comedy. And I'm assuming maybe it's like a time travel type thing. Uh, that's a good guess based off the title. Yeah, so maybe like a little bit of uh, Bill and Ted. Yeah. I'm excited. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Twitter, or Instagram, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. So you can already guess the Oppenheimer connection. Oh, cool. I love Christopher Walken. Yeah, he's the best. I don't think you've even seen Clueless, have you? I have not. Honestly, if I had the space and the money, I would probably I would, be down to build a fallout shelter. I would as well. A duck walks into a drugstore. He says, I'd like some lip gloss. Will this be cash or check? Put it on my bill. That's great. Dad joke. Cotton spends all of his time out there tinkering around in the workshop. Lots of gossip going on. That's what I was just going to say. Trouble down in Cuba. Oh, for heaven's sakes, please don't bring that up. <laughs> He's now in preparation on that imprisoned island. Uh oh. You're declaring an emergency? Stand by, one. Additional. Not looking good. Well, I'm certainly not going to let this pot roast go to ice. Oh, Calvin, could you put that seat cushion back in the lawn chair? <laughs> I bet that's a fighter jet on its way to Key West. 
Good fucking Miko. <laughs> I just hope those plates are not radioactive by tomorrow. Well, cheese is particularly troublesome. <laughs> Uh-oh. Of course. Could take days. Days? Honey, what if I go into labor? That could happen any time now. I forgot she was <laughs> pregnant. Ooh. Home sweet home. <laughs> to you, maybe. Oof. Are you all right? I think so. Oh my God, he just saved all those people from his house. There's a radiation half-life. After an atomic blast, last 35 years. Then, after that, it's safe. What? Just a quick 35 years. According to Caltech, this Weber guy was a bona fide genius, but a borderline nutcase. <laughs> Neighbors over there said the guy spent day and night out here. Bring him sandwiches and hot Dr. Pepper. Hot Dr. Pepper? Ew. Good God. <laughs> He is crazy. <laughs> Eating up his Dr. Pepper. All our friends. Burnt to a crisp. <laughs> I'm not hungry. <laughs> this is just like home. No. <laughs> Would you like a tranquilizer? You've got tranquilizer? I told you I've had everything. She's pregnant. <laughs> oh, huh. Hey, it's coming. <laughs> Oh. Is there a problem? No, Calvin, babies cry. Noticed. <laughs> we should call him Adam. That's not sacrilegious, is it? <laughs> I want a bedroom ceiling. Well, almost perfect. <laughs> I was like, it's backwards. <laughs> Lord, bless this food, this family. <laughs> a chunky baby. Like this, she's like grocery shopping <laughs> right. in their own bunker. Oh, well, it's happened in a year. This is a septic tank. I sure as hell don't want to open it. We'll just lay the foundation over it. <gasps> uh oh, one land. I'd like to see the public school system match that. <laughs> Will I ever get to go up on top? You'll find a nice girl. Rebuild America just the way it used to be. <laughs> Something is moving around up there. <laughs> so they just put that in the middle of a neighborhood or did the whole neighborhood get torn down? I don't know. Oh, by the way, mom, thanks for the job. Buck 15 an hour. <laughs> What's the big news? <laughs> oh, you're right. Uh, I think she's tired of it. Oh yeah, they've been down here for a while. I'm crazy. Oh, don't be silly, Ralph. Just send <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so sweet. Just remember. Such a wholesome family. Living underground for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the hell kind of music is that? I'm not sure I like that. Oh, it's growing on you, huh? These are stock certificates. Of course, they're worthless now, but. <laughs> Jeez, no. Hi, huh? Hi. Ugh. She is not doing well. <laughs> this is wonderful. It's my baseball card collection. Explain it pretty easily. There's a picture. Oh, like a painting. Like one of mom's? Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, the nocturnal flying mammal. No. <laughs> He's trying so hard. She okay? Oh no. How are they gonna get out of there? <laughs> Still in business. Runner on second goes to third. Still talking baseball. It's it's a force. I was too busy paying attention to what she was doing. You get the presents, I'll get the light. They aged them very well. Thanks, Mom. Thank you, Dad. Blow out the candles. Make a wish. <laughs> Go for it. Jacket. Mom made that all by herself. Who else would have done it? 
Who else would have done it? Well, what did you wish for, son? I wish that I could meet a girl. One who doesn't glow in the dark. <laughs> we'll be going up in two years. We'll know then. I'm very hopeful. Two years are so close. You know, when we do go up, I'm gonna miss this place. Get up. She's kept it together for so long. I know. <laughs> All I can picture is them coming up to that bar. <laughs> So finally, I don't even think she's gonna wait for them. She was in prayer first. Just open the door. <laughs> this is the back door? Yeah. Hopefully, the foundation didn't go over the whole thing. Seems to be okay. <gasps> <laughs> I know you're happy. <laughs> <laughs> we must be at our most cautious. We wait for night. Oh, shit. <laughs> Pardon of French, son. Shit is French? <laughs> well, it's archaic French. It's archaic. Shit? <laughs> <laughs> All of these things. The world changes so much in 30 years. Uh, earthquake. Another earthquake. Let's get this over with. Save me. <laughs> I come in peace. <laughs> I think that was an appropriate response. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> it looks terrible. I wonder if any part of this is familiar. Did you say you were a country boy? And if you want a girl, I can be a girl. Hell, I can be whatever you want me to be. <laughs> and if you act now, I may even do some free lawn furniture. Now, how about that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Get out of here, you old drunk. <laughs> oh, God. Adult, Adult videos? No! <laughs> Apparently, in the fallout, has created a subspecies. <laughs> Cover your ears, son, and home. I mean that literally. <laughs> Others are multisexual. <laughs> Feminine simultaneously. <laughs> he tried to sell me his body, Helen. <gasps> they offer lawn furniture as a come on. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to cleaning. Others point guns. There's something terribly wrong with the automobiles. And... <laughs> we stay down here. We do? Yes. She's like, it can't be that bad. <laughs> I don't care how horrible it is. We deserve it. I am the head of this household. I what was I say? Me. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Let's get into the bedroom. Oh, my God. I'm going to give you a shopping list and some money. We'll need just enough things to get us through the next year or two. Can't get home by nightfall. I want you to look for something called a holiday inn. <laughs> I was wondering if maybe I could uh, meet a girl. I've been thinking about that a little, just these last 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> it would be wonderful if you could meet a girl, one who's not a mutant, and hopefully comes from Pasadena. Pasadena. <laughs> There's also something called a liquor store. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> she needs her alcohol. She out. Oh no, maybe you shouldn't bring those with you. The stocks? <laughs> it's Jack. <laughs> it's the same as the Benny. <laughs> <laughs> it had to come from somewhere. A healthy young woman. Bring her on down. <laughs> <laughs> he had a r religious experience. You were the one who came last night, all, all, all in yellow? That was my father. Oh, of course. The father. <laughs> I'll, I'll stay here and pray. See, now that's always a good idea. <laughs> Will you be back? I promise. <laughs> Sky. Seeing it for the first time. Sky. 
I see it, Mommy. I have never in my life seen anything like it before. <laughs> or like you. So wholesome. What are you looking at? Oh, my lucky stars. A Negro. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> Poisonous gas. Run for your life. Run, 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 run for your life. <laughs> He's smart. Yes, dear. He's a baby man. <laughs> Do you have a gun, by the way? <laughs> Please stop the bus, sir! Stop the bus! <laughs> How much money does he have? I'm lost. Do you know where I live? <laughs> no. Will you please excuse me? Gladly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. He just got out of there so quick he doesn't know where he went. It was that dang poisonous gas. Driver, please stop the bus. Find a holiday in. Oh. Or is this a different one? It was a different adult shop. How about I give you $500 in small bills? Ah, shit. <laughs> well, smart man, was that? Oh, you're French. <laughs> Because she said shit. You know why you can't keep a goddamn job? Excuse me, sir, but I would really appreciate it if you wouldn't take the Lord's name in vain again. <laughs> I have a big problem with that. I'll walk you out. Yes, ma'am. My name's Adam. <laughs> Adam and Eve, the perfect match. <laughs> I totally miss that her name was Eve. And judging by that code, I'd say you have to get back to the barber college. No, I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost. Dickhead. Dickhead? Yes, a walking penis capable of intelligent speech. <laughs> Say, dickheads exist? Before you know it, you're stuck in the San Fernando Valley without a clue, which brings us to here, correct again? Again? She's so psychic. You own a car? No strangers in the car. Well, if it'll make you feel any better, I don't have a gun. <laughs> well, that changes everything. Get away from me! <laughs> I'm sorry, I said something wrong, didn't I? Please forgive me. Yeah. Chasing her. I will give you a Rogers Hornsby if you take me to the hotel. Rogers Hornsby's worth like $4,000. So what? I got two of them. And I don't have to take a physical in your spaceship? No, ma'am. <laughs> you got some spaceships and dickheads? <laughs> I could die. <laughs> you are one scary son of a... <laughs> always does this to me. I just get so strange. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> oh, you uh, dial nine to get out. Of what? <laughs> well, your father's a smart guy. My father's a genius. <laughs> it's my first night away from home. Oh. How old do I look? 25, around there. I guess living up here makes people look older. Up here on the 18th floor? <laughs> yes, up here on the 18th floor. <laughs> right, not underground. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so high. <laughs> what in the hell am I doing here? So I'd like to know, somebody tell me that. He got to her. Flora, nuts and protective sunscreens. He's <laughs> <laughs> never had that type of TV before. Hi! Hello, hot diggity dog! <laughs> so far. I'm so glad to see you. I, I thought I'd never see you again. Yeah, okay, okay, down boy. I can't take this for driving you home. I wish I could, but I can't, so here... Oh, I knew this would happen. You're like a lost puppy. <laughs> Who's Troy? Is he your husband? No. Thank you! <laughs> what are you even doing? I'm watching television <laughs> in color. <laughs> Why not go to work for me? Doing what? Why, helping me sell all my baseball cards and buying enough food and supplies to fill several large trucks. <laughs> I gotta make at least $1,000 a week. You got it. <laughs> Wait here while I get changed. Yeah, I was like, those cards. <laughs> Yeah, right? Alone. It's half of one card. I don't know. I just worked for the guy. <laughs> Who does he work for? The CIA? <laughs> kind of. 
He is like a puppy. Stop staring at me. Sorry. I'll pick you up at eight in the morning. You know, Eve, I was thinking. Night. <laughs> you gotta talk to her while you're still in the car. <laughs> right. Just couldn't wait for the morning. Well, you can be single and not alone. Marriage bites. Bites what? The big one. <laughs> huh. I didn't know that. Everybody knows that. Every everybody's divorced. It's <laughs> like... <laughs> kind of wife you're looking for? Hmm? Oh, um, I was not a mutant. <laughs> no dogs, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to marry someone from Pasadena. <laughs> When do you need her by? Two weeks? Well, I can probably get you laid in two weeks. <laughs> what do you mean you can get me laid? <laughs> Jeez. Get out. <laughs> I told you I've never driven before. We'll never drive again. You said it would be easy. <laughs> Adam, this is Cliff. How do you do? I do fine. <laughs> nice coat. Thank you, Cliff. It was very nice to meet you. Uh, that's a nice parking job, too. <laughs> I still have a, sort of a thing for him. That, that's what you wanted to know, isn't it? I was going to ask you why Cliff likes to wear another man's underpants. <laughs> Ralph Lauren. <laughs> Everything's just so amazing to him. One champagne cocktail. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I thought only hookers drank those things. Well, I know Mom sure likes them. Where on earth are you from? It's a very small place. People don't even know it's there. <laughs> he's not lying. Well then, Miss Dion Warwick, why don't you tell us what town he's from? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just the physical touch. Way up north. Are we getting hot? Yes. <laughs> it's gay, by the way. Well, good for you. <laughs> when did Alaska become a state? 1959. Okay, and uh, who owned it before we did? Russia. <laughs> All right, what's the state capital? Juneau. Hello, it's Anchorage. That's the largest city. <laughs> He's going to check your answers on his computer. In the house. Of course it's in the house, it's in there. May I be excused, please? Oh, computer? Up. <laughs> this poor guy. <gasps> Who are you? <laughs> I'm the mother. It's the mother. Oh. <laughs> 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 they made a cult by accident, <laughs> right? Oh, yeah, well, you know, they rebuilt the freeway in only six months. Really? Uh -huh. Talk about the earthquake. <laughs> so, what do you think? Looks great. Just a few laps. It won't take long. <laughs> Adam, will you go skate on the bike path? Where? The bike path, it's over there. God, I wish I could wear those pants. Such a magical moment. Don't go too far. I doubt you know how to swim. Right? Where did he practice? <laughs> All those dance lessons with mom. <laughs> I finally, get it. <laughs> finally got baseball. All the little things, seeing the sky, ocean, rain. This whole business of finding your wife, it's pretty ridiculous, don't you think? No, it isn't. Well, yes, it is. Would you do it because you're my very best friend? Yeah, okay. <laughs> what? Ladies first, troll. <laughs> Look unimpressed. Yeah, bored even. <laughs> unimpressed, but still interested. Do we look crazy? Yes. <laughs> be loose. Yeah. Just be yourself. <laughs> if you use those names right away, Jason and Jonathan. He's from Alaska. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Adam lives in Alaska. 
No shit. Vous parlez français? <rire> Voici la pays d'amour. Bien sûr. <rire> uh... Adam. Tetra. Adam. Oh, um, I don't know. Oh, well, I thought we were here to meet women. Not that. <laughs> Not that. You do know what bitch means, don't you? I mean, why you would say that about her? Or why Cliff would say that about you? <laughs> Funny. Well, I know a duck about some lip balm. <laughs> You know, I've lost my Congressional Medal of Honor around here somewhere. <laughs> Now that's a great one. Adam Weber. Hi, I'm Heather. I don't believe I've ever heard that name before. <laughs> <laughs> He's killing it. Shall we dance? Uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, it's working. <laughs> Eve. <laughs> That was so good. You go to the bathroom. What, right here? <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I fell in love with you the very moment that I saw you. Eve, I think you're the most... I want you to stop lying to me. In 1962. Well, well, well. Cut off. I'm about to have a drink up at the bar. Sure. Eve. Go back to the hotel. Yeah, before I kick your ass. I do know how to defend myself. <laughs> or do you? <laughs> oh, really? uh, yeah, he's right. Maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> Adam! I'm sorry! He was gonna... I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Stop trying, dude. You know what? If you want help, you can ask Troy, because I quit. This is ridiculous. Just threw it all away. He left those dancers, didn't he? Eve the psychic pimp. Those sluts. <laughs> I'm not the one that's in love with the guy. What? I do not fall in love with weirdos who I've only known for four or five days. Yes, you do. <laughs> he thinks I'm a gentleman and you're a lady. I mean, I thought a gentleman was somebody that owned horses. <laughs> he didn't go home with them. <laughs> Well, he went home with Sophie. Oh. <laughs> no! She swept him out of the room, whispering little French sweet nothings into his ear. <laughs> Unsafe sex with that slut Sophie. I know. I know. I, I, I was just going to say. I know. And then, and then she went. I know, I know. And she, and I didn't mean to of scare course. her. Of <laughs> course. You're a nice boy, but what Eve needs is a nice man. Pants are ruined, right? I'd say so. There. <laughs> what a man. <laughs> Did you go to Sophie's? Of course. She was hospitable. Hospitable? <laughs> I have often walked down this street before a young man who's standing in front of the house of the person that he loves. <laughs> Adam and Eve. Have you ever had sex before? No. How is that possible? <laughs> you better sit back down. It's not many options back home. In 1962, when the bomb was dropped on Los Angeles, my parents were in our fallout shelter. We could live there with my mom and dad. <laughs> you look plenty healthy to me. <laughs> oh, no. I think it's time to call You're absolutely right. I, I really shouldn't be over here at this late hour. Just looks so crazy. Thank you. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I know I, I took the Lord's name in vain again. I... <laughs> It's an adult bookstore back there. I'll be right back. Is that the right one? I don't know. Give us a sign! Yeah. <laughs> That's all we're at. Oh, you need a sign, huh? This guy made the best religion. Eve tells me you've been living in a bomb shelter most of your life. Adam, I think you should go with Dr. Aaron. I think it's the best thing. I honestly thought she just didn't even believe him. Well, I guess I'm not sure if she still believes him. 
Here's my hotel room key. You can have all my baseball cards and don't forget to pay my bill. Young man, you stop right there. You gotta stop trying to drive this truck. Watch what? Thanks for always being happy. What? Oh. <laughs> what are you asking them for? They're as screwed up as he is. Hey, everybody keep calm. That's the important thing. Yeah, I don't think Eve believed them. No. I'm home. Oh. I've got almost everything we need. And this nice man, Archbishop <laughs> Melker. Archbishop. Are you in trouble, son? I think I'm being chased by a psychiatrist. <gasps> How bad is it up there? Horrible. <laughs> There's something on your forehead. Calvin. I know. <laughs> oh. Clear oh. it out. What's that? I don't know. So clean. Uh, and what if we can't find him? We'll find him. You know where he stopped. Troy does. Yeah. Oh, he found the stocks. It's got like IBM and AT and T and Polaroid. <gasps> and it. <laughs> it says trademark 1961. Putting the clues together. Let's step it up. <laughs> Leave my elevator alone. <laughs> Ten thousand shares of each. Mm-hmm. They'd be worth millions. Upon millions. Upon millions. Who's the kindest, most polite, most incredibly <laughs> rich guy you've ever met? <laughs> At least I fell for him before I found he was rich. That's new. <laughs> Progress. Yeah, we stopped at this adult bookstore. Adam was very excited to see it. Do you think maybe his home is underneath a dirty bookstore in the valley? <laughs> Spot on. <laughs> I mean, it probably kind of is under there, right? I don't know if it goes that far. Adam? Adam? <laughs> Believe me, all the really good stuff is right up front. I wanted to tell you that I, that I wish so many good things for you. They were so close. All the same people. Adam? How long are you gonna set it for this time? 10 years. What? I mean, they still think it's all crazy up there. I would like for you to meet Miss Eve Rustikov. Hello, Mr. Weber. Oh, oh holy, excuse us, please. We, we oh, yeah. haven't. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. If you heard this one, Doc walks into a drugstore. <laughs> the sperm swims toward the egg. <laughs> into the egg. Why? Because it must. <laughs> because it must. Because it's out there. Yeah, we are. And I'm from Pasadena. Oh. <laughs> and you thought your parents were weird. <laughs> Do you know you can have whole houses built in just a matter of months? It's like the Garden of Eden. <laughs> it took a while to convince Archbishop Melker that Adam wasn't God. Oh. Showed him my plans for Los Angeles' hottest and most original night spot. It's my goddamn mulch out. <laughs> Well, I want one of my guys at the door. <laughs> Our idea was to bring Adam's parents. Like how good he's driving. Oh, yeah. Make them very comfortable and then break the bad news to them that there was no nuclear holocaust. Yeah, I feel like his mom's going to lose her shit. Oh. oh. Uh. So perfect. Look how nice they look. <laughs> can heat up as Dr. Pepper. It's not much different from a fallout shelter. No, Cal. <laughs> Her last name, Rostikov. That's not Russian, is it? No, it's, uh, it's Ukrainian. Oof. <laughs> Soviet Union collapsed without a shot being fired. Cold War's over. <laughs> we give up! <laughs> that's that's kind of how it went. <laughs> My gosh! These commies are brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Funny guy? Don't tell your mother. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why spoil his dreams? They're such wonderful dreams. 
<laughs> Mapping out another Fallout shelter. All right, that was Blast from the Past. What'd you think? I loved that. Good. The Adam and Eve romance was like the peak of the movie for me. Yeah. But watching Adam just try to get through life now after being raised in the bunker, like Brendan Fraser had such like an innocence about him. Yes. Um, and recently we watched Big as well. And Big was more obviously like the childlike aspect of it. Um, whereas this, he obviously was a little bit immature. I mean, they made a comment about him also looking like 25. Right. But it wasn't so much like the childlike immaturity as it was just the innocence factor. Yeah, the innocence and like just the wonder of everything. Yeah. Like just how he talked about like not really understanding why his father talked about everything being like a miracle. Yeah. But just sitting out in the rain, mm -hmm. like something that most people are like, oh, such an inconvenience. Yeah. But it's just like, magical or seeing yeah. the ocean or the sky for the first time yeah like, yeah he pulls it off perfectly in such a believable way that it makes you feel good to see the world through his eyes yes and every interaction that he had was so good and that part did kind of remind me of big there was just so many instances where people were like wait and then it would turn out okay right um and it was very similar for adam and I also, I loved Troy. I yeah. thought he was such a great character. Yeah, the Adam and Eve relationship is amazing, but the Adam and Troy relationship is also amazing. Yeah, I mean, they, they get this like genuine good friendship and Troy is ready. I mean, Troy takes him out shopping and, but then Troy's also an incredible friend to you, Eve as well. Yeah. Um. So. I want a friend like Troy. <laughs> like, Troy was awesome. Christopher Walken and Sissy uh, Spacek? Was yeah, that who it was? I think it was Spacek. Were so great. Um, I loved watching their dynamic. Obviously, they loved each other so much. At a certain point, Helen was getting very tired. And honestly, like, kudos to her that she even made it the 35 years. Yeah, because she was like over it like year one. Yes, yeah, she was done. But I think the fact that she had Adam and the fact that she was no longer pregnant, she could drink, uh, was exactly <laughs> what she needed to make it down there. The whole idea of the fallout shelter and everything. I mean, Christopher Walken, I feel like was the perfect person to play like that a role. Paranoid, brilliant person. Yes. And with his Christopher Walken, like dialect, I don't know what the right word is. Yeah. Just whatever voice. <laughs> yeah. The way that he speaks was just so perfect for it. And I love that he was kind of getting made fun of in the beginning at the story or at the party when they were all kind of gossiping. Right. But that was crazy that he was able to like set up this whole thing and they were just stuck down there for 35 years. And it was believable and the whole thing, like yeah. obviously with the bomb and with the cold war aspect, mm -hmm. the fear of everything. There was fallout shelters, I'm sure plenty of places. Like it is a believable thing, even though it takes just a little bit more with having an extra paranoid person. Yeah, but he did save all those people. Right, Like yeah. if that plane had crashed into their house with that massive party. If he wasn't paranoid, the party would have just kept going yeah. and they all would have died. Yeah. So he saved his family and everyone else there. And just the structure of the fallout shelter, of the fallout shelter, of the fallout shelter was amazing. And it goes along too with like, just how wholesome this movie is. Obviously he could tell that she was like a little struggling. What do you want? I'll get you whatever you want. And she was like, I want a ceiling. And he was right on it. Like he did what he could to try to make things okay. Yeah. And then obviously he had this amazing shelter. Yeah. Uh, but they're just such great parents and they raised an awesome kid. And like, I just love all of the moments too. Like how they have the, structured time like you know he's boxing with his dad and the mom comes in he's like my turn and like does some dancing and it's yeah. just so cool and he was like so well-rounded and it was so cool to see that then like translate into the outside world right um the whole dance scene was awesome in the club and then that bitch sophie <laughs> um they were speaking french yeah the whole shit joke <laughs> yeah the, the shit joke was like a running joke throughout <laughs> right. the film uh which was awesome but it was just really cool to see like what types of things adam learned baseball 
Yes, um, finally, he, he had to see it to, to understand. Yeah, which obviously, just like the wording, like English language in general, there were so many things that Christopher Walken is trying to explain to him. <laughs> the picture. Yeah, and everything has like a separate meaning. Uh, so it was cool to see him at like a game. And then obviously in the end, Eve lucked out falling in love with someone like Adam, but He's extremely wealthy now with those stocks and the baseball cards. Yeah, I feel like the movie, it just sets everything up so perfectly. Like you said, like you see the fighting, you see the dancing, both those come into play like literally right after each other. Yeah. The uh, the manners that he has, uh, how the baseball cards, it's just something that's so sweet that a dad hands over to his kid, but it's not like he knew that they were worth anything at that point. Yeah. But that comes into play with getting all of this stuff, the stocks. Of course, someone like paranoid like that would probably invest a little bit here or there. Yeah. So everything literally comes into play and the characters are structured so well that they all just really mesh with each other. Like even when Eve comes down, she's never like a bad person. Like she no. just, it has trouble with guys or whatever. But when she comes down, she has such a great time like with the mom and like, yeah. and Sissy's like, are you guys dating? And like, even Eve was like paying attention enough to be like, by the way, I'm from Pasadena. I loved that. I love that moment. It gave Helen like just that extra like bit of excitement yeah. for their relationship. And I mean, Eve started off as a good person. That's why, I mean, obviously she's beautiful as well, but getting Adam's attention and making sure that he wasn't gonna get totally robbed. Yeah, multiple times, like getting robbed by that one guy. Mm -hmm. And then she can't even accept the baseball card for just giving him a ride. Yeah. So it's like, she's such a great person. Troy's a great person. The parents are great people. The hilarious running joke of like the church people. <laughs> Cult yeah. uh, forming in uh, the top of the uh, elevator. Right, yeah. And how they get involved. And I, I it's been a while since I've seen this movie. Um, I had no idea that he is like part of everything at the end too. Like how he's gonna be like a business over, owner for the nightclub. No, oh, he's gotta be involved. He's gotta be involved. He's part of the, the whole religion. And it was the fact that it came from like a family business too of like, and watching that evolve from like a nice like mom's diner type of thing. Yeah, it was like a, like a milkshakes or whatever. Yeah, uh, to it just went downhill so quickly. <laughs> but the movie is just, it's so heartwarming. It puts you in a good mood. It's hilarious. It's an excellent romantic movie as well yeah. for the characters. Yeah. And I feel like it ends on such a an amazing note. Yeah. Like seeing the parents pull up to their house built exactly how it used to be. It's so cool. Yeah, no, it's just so sweet and wholesome. I feel like my cheeks hurt just smiling the whole movie. It was just so good. And I loved the relationships and all the characters. Like it was just, this was so sweet to watch. It's one of the best, I feel like uh, fish out of water type movies, yeah. which we've seen a handful kind of recently to a certain degree, like with Coming to America, or with Crocodile Dundee, mm -hmm. and now we have Blast from the Past. Yeah. Uh, and they're always just done so well. That's such a winning formula to take someone who is just so innocent and unfamiliar with the area and just put them in there and just, you know, let magic happen. You're right, you're right. I hadn't realized how many we'd seen recently. Yeah, we've seen the, quite a few relatively uh, similar themes yeah. in the past couple of weeks. It's a winning formula because I loved all those films. Yeah. So I had an amazing time with this and I'm really glad that you uh, enjoyed it. Yeah, no, so thanks to everybody that did recommend this. Uh, I know you wanted to watch this and that we just had a Sissy Spacek. Yeah, Sissy Spacek. Spacek week. Uh, not even a week. It's been three week movies in a row, yeah. <laughs> so we'll see what else Sissy is in. <laughs> so if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us and any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.